Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the Rim World. Now, as you can see, there have been a few changes. Yeah. Problem was, um, I was recording quite merrily the other day, did a, a bumper session, recorded about two hours worth of uh, um, Rim World for you, and then the video file corrupted and I lost it all. To cap it all off, uh, I couldn't go back to an earlier save either. So, we've gone on ahead a little bit, and we're going to pick up the gameplay from there onwards. Um, as you can see, the central defences have now been finished. All these uh, security tunnel turrets here pointing into this central area. Hopefully, that's going to create a nice big kill zone for anyone that comes in. This has now been walled off. And the entrance is now up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, the con list to put little doors here all the way through just to make it so much more slow and frustrating to break in. The idea being that, uh, it, it, that anyone who's trying to attack us is going to have to slow down and break through all these doors in the dark, getting hungry, getting demoralized because they're in the darkness. And they get through down to... Uh, the, uh, the sandbags here and they come out and they just get blasted with uh, all the turrets here. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, in other areas I've built some hydroponic workshop here and I'm going to actually extend that across the, uh, the bottom room here uh, replacing the farmland because this stuff the, the hydroponic stuff grows so much faster and um, after a little bit of a crisis with food, so I've built a second um, cook uh, station, and now I have two cooks. We have um, Tara, and John has joined joined her in that as well. So two people producing food, and they seem to be on top of it quite nicely. Uh, if you notice, we've got a lot of meat here, quite a ridiculously large amount of meat here. The reason being is we had an attack of the muffalos. Yeah, sounds contagious really, doesn't it? Yep, uh, we were attacked by loads and loads of mufflows. It was the first real test of this killing area and it worked quite nicely, to be honest with you. So, uh, we just uh, gathered them all up. I got John a cook and um, he uh, butchered it all. So, everybody's eating steak this week. Uh, finished off this uh, prisoner area here. So, the prisoner now has their own food source. Uh, this nutrient place dispenser place to sit, some nice beds, pan we captured through um, the last attack and she actually looks quite good, not particularly great at anything but um, incapable of nothing so it's probably going to fit into the team quite nicely. We've picked up a few people thinking of that. Um, Riesling, Ichabod, Kay and Raven, I don't know if you guys uh, saw those before but they're all parts of the team. Uh, two of them are doing hauling, one of them are doing cleaning, and um, Riesling, who is very good at it, is our current crafter. So he's the man who makes the stone blocks, or at least most of the time. Um, built a couple more mortars. They were destroyed the last time we saw, and in order to stop them being attacked all the time, I put them in um, little rooms with the roofs off. So hopefully that'll stop... Uh, if uh, attackers get into the base just running over here and attacking them immediately. Uh, what else is new? We've got a bit more solar power and built a few new bedrooms. Also laid out how I expect to put the bedrooms in the rest of this little base here. So that's all uh, That's all built up. These rooms are under construction and these rooms are the most part full. That one's unowned uh, so what I'm thinking about is turn that off and those are all done. So we have one unowned bedroom, so getting these done is a priority. Um, because Pan, when she's recruited, will fill that up. Uh, getting all this tidied up, getting some doors in around the entrances is important. What state are these in? Okay, they're, they're going to grow. Um, yep, I think we're, we're fairly sorted. The biggie for us at the moment is going to be the hunt for metal. Um, we're at the point now where we want to build the spaceship. So that is what we're going to need. So we have some mining going on. 
new recruits are going to get involved in mining. I'm just about to set up um, a slag refinery and machine refinery to get some metal out of these guys. I'm, going, I'm just waiting for this to be mined out and I'm going to wall off this section here, connect it to a corridor here, and that will be our machinery area. Just quite easily, just wall the whole thing off, it will be fine. And uh, that's us, I think, so let's get the game rolling a bit. Let's uh, do some do some play. Uh, I'm attempting to do a few episodes this week, so this has been the, the, the only introduction I'm going to do in-game, and I'm just going to carry on narrating now until I get a bit hoarse, and um, I will split that up and put that up in a number of episodes per week. I'd love to do one per day. We'll see how we go there. Um, as you can see, we are still having power problems. And that is actually my biggest worry at the moment. Um, we have a, a large bank of solar panels now. And we are building up the power. It does, just doesn't quite last the night. And it seems that every time we get um, attacked... We drain so much power we go back to the drawing board on that one. So that's another thing I would like to get sorted out as quick as I can. There doesn't appear to be any um, geothermal plants here. So we're probably going to end up by building another bank of um, another bank of solar panels there to see if we can boost up. There you see those are going almost immediately. And what's happened here? A group of people from Combra of the Crag have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Right, that sounds like a good test of our new defenses. So let's get a lot of stuff turned off. And when they get closer, we will... Um, turn the uh, the turrets on. Problem is, it's night. We've got hardly any power. So let's see how we go here. Right. Okay. It looks like I'm going to have to grab everyone to start off with. Right, Raven. You go here. You don't have a weapon, actually, do you, Raven? What have we got? We don't have anything, so you just stand there for now. Um, Tigress, you can go here. Barrow, there. Grumpy, you can go down here. Okay, with them. Riesling, likewise. Who else we got? Roger. Down here, Ichabod, uh, such a good name. Tara, you're our cook. I don't, and our medic. I don't actually want to get you involved in this, so you can stay here. No, I don't want you there. That'll do. And Meritrix, you go there. Who have I missed? Jono, you come along there. Anyone else? No, okay, let's get these started up. It's daylight now, so we should be able to run off the power we've got. Turn those on. See how we get on here. Yes, let the slaughter commence. Oh, we've got a cute flea. It's not going as well as I'd like, to be honest with you, because I think cause there's so many targets. Let's see how we go. Oh, looks like we've got a... Yes, I was worried that was going to happen, but still. Some of them are going to try to use that as cover now, but I don't think it's going to help them in the long run. Now what they're doing is this. They are actually so close that uh, by attacking us, they are they are actually damaging themselves. And Raven, I think you need to get away from there. 
In fact, as you are unarmed, you just go back here. Okay, that went reasonably well, I'd say. Alright, let's get these turned off. Took a little bit of damage there. But not that bad, to be honest with you. I think we need more sandbags to slow things down. Okay, so that amounts. Uh, let's get everybody undrafted. Do Let's have a look here for survivors. Okay, so there was, yeah, there was one here. Um, not that one, that's dead. Okay, a healer, a character, capable of nothing. And, yep, yeah, not too bad. So let's get someone to grab you, Barrow, if you would be so kind. Now, do we have anyone else? Yes, we do. You are also capable of dumb labor. Probably not going to want you then, am I? No. Okay. Well, let's grab you anyway. Roger, you're here. You capture them. Excellent. Excellent. Anyone else? No, nope, that looks like the lot. Okay, let's just get everybody, everything unforbidden. All this stuff. And I think we're going to want to turn that on for a bit because that's going to be a bit busy. Unforbid them. Excellent. Right. So. Okay, that was a massive attack. We took some losses there, but in all honesty, that wasn't that bad. So let's uh, get those guys working on rebuilding this. Like that. Hold on there. Um, not a wood wall, a stone wall. Uh, the stone wall there as well. Okay, like that. And, yep. Stone walls here, here, and here. And here, and here, and here. But not here. And let's put these turrets back in. Okay, right. Now. That's underway. Let's get those guys working on that. That's excellent. Let's have a look at these. Um, prisoner. Yep, we definitely want you. In case, uh, so, friendly tra try to recruit. And do we want you? What are you good at? You're good at research. We don't particularly need research anymore. We researched everything. Uh, da, 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 da. You're a reasonable miner. Okay, we'll have you. Tries to recruit friendly chat. There we go. Alright. An industrial trader passing by. We need, we need. Barrow, there you are. Hello, Barrow. Right, let's go and have a chat with these guys and see what they have to sell. And while I'm at it, let's get some of these lights turned back on. So we've got some food growing and morale growing and things like that. On the other hand, we've managed to fill up the batteries again. Okay, what have you got? Uh, we have a little bit of money. We could buy some more metal. That seems like a bad deal at this point. Mind. Though on the other hand, we could sell a bit of wood. No, we can't because it's for zero. Okay, that's done. Right. right let's get the last of those lights on. There we go. And we're definitely going to need to sort these rooms out now, aren't we? Which uh, gives me a chance to introduce a few things. I have put in some mods. 
And the only mods I've put in at the moment are going to be um, a few luxury items, okay? Uh, some plant pots, little table lights, things like that. And I think these guys have deserved a bit more luxury in their lives. So uh, that's going to be um, some stuff we're going to be putting over the next few episodes. A few little tables pool table for them to play things like that should be fun shouldn't it okay what do i want um doors that's what i want structure wood doors so we go with that set up we'll have another three uh bedrooms and we're gonna have to start tunneling in here i think but uh for now the next thing we're going to do is wall off a bit of this so if we wall off there and we wall off there. We have the beginnings of a nice room. So let's actually get that sorted out as well. So if we mine in like that, that's a bit horrible actually. But we'll wall that off accordingly. So let's get that mined as well. idea being here we'll have a room or two here we'll start setting up um, the machinery and the slag refining and things like that in here rather than out here because I believe it requires power and I don't want to run power out that far right where are we okay this is going on this is being rebuilt nicely when this is all done we'll get some doors put up yeah this is chugging along we also need to get, uh, if you look inside the building, combat supply, now that one's interesting. Barrow, where are you? If you look inside the building, we still have a few bits of uh, metal that we can mine out. So we should actually look at uh, mining that stuff out as well. Um, that one, I think. And we also need to start getting this food up to speed as well. Though a couple extra people will be very nice there, I think. Okay, I'm just going to sell off these medikits because we don't need them. So that's giving us a bit of money. And let's see what you've got. A Uzi, a pump shotgun, a T9, a Sendrian launcher. Nothing I really want there, but I will buy the Uzi to give that to Raven. Um, okay, so sell that. Sell that, sell that, sell that. And hopefully would have moved a bit more extra by the time uh, before that leaves. Okay, where's that Uzi? Raven, you equip the Uzi. Let's have a quick look at you. You're incapable of social, but uh, yeah, you're perfectly fine there. Right, as a child, Raven tended the, the tribe's muffalo herbs, keeping them safe from predators and keeping the sick, and treating the sick, rather. It was quiet work, but she enjoyed being away from people. As an adult, um, loner, never much like the, uh, okay, Raven never much liked the tribal council or the yearly festival. She prefers the open plain and the lonely whistle of the wind through the rocks. She visits her tribe from time to time, but for most of the part she takes care of herself using her own survival skills. Okay, so she can't be a warden, but we don't want her to be a warden anyway. So that's fine. 